Hello and welcome to this recorded webinar on the CIS domestic reverse charge and the implementation within Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Please bear in mind this is a first look at these new features in Sage Business Cloud Accounting, so they may be subject to small changes prior to implementation. So first, let's take a look at how to record an invoice received from a subcontractor for work they've carried out on our behalf. Supplier records within Sage Business Cloud will be updated to include a reverse charge checkbox. This will be visible on both existing suppliers and when creating a new supplier record. When a supplier has CIS details entered and the VAT number has been added, this checkbox will be automatically selected. Domestic reverse charge will then be applied on all future invoices. However, this can be overridden on an invoice by invoice basis. So let's take a look at how to implement that on a supplier invoice. In this example here, I've selected a CIS and VAT registered supplier, and the invoice date is falling after the 1st of March. As you can see, there is a tick box on the invoice itself that can be deselected if this particular invoice does not fall under domestic reverse charge rules. However, because this is selected, reverse charge VAT has been calculated, but not added to the total of the invoice. The banners in the invoice will be updated to indicate that invoice includes reverse charge also. Once this invoice is saved, it will ensure that notional VAT is applied to the VAT return. This means that the VAT value will impact boxes 1 and 4, and box 7 will show the net element of the transaction. So now we've seen how to process this for our supplier invoices, let's take a look at how to process this for our customer invoices. Just like we saw with suppliers, we have the VAT reverse charge checkbox within existing customers and also when creating new customer records. The same rules apply. If the CIS details and the VAT registration number have been entered, then this will be automatically selected. This can be deselected if you know domestic reverse charge will not apply, for example, if you know that you're dealing with the end user. So now if we create an invoice dated after the 1st of March, where the customer has the VAT reverse charge checkbox selected, you can see some changes. First, the wording in the banner indicates reverse charge has been applied. The used reverse charge on this invoice checkbox is selected. Now remember, this can be deselected if domestic reverse charge does not apply to this particular invoice. Finally, the reverse charge is calculated, but not added to the overall total of the invoice. This means when you produce your VAT return, the net value will appear in box 6 of the VAT return only. Do bear in mind, as you mentioned earlier, once the tick box is selected to apply domestic reverse charge to the invoice, it will apply to the entire invoice. Within sales, domestic reverse charge can also be applied to quotes and estimates and this will carry over into the invoice once they are converted. When it comes to printing or emailing these invoices, our layouts have been configured to display the reverse charge value whilst not adding it to the total. They will also contain the correct domestic reverse charge wording for you. Finally, just a couple of other additional considerations when processing domestic reverse charge on Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Users can create recurring invoices with domestic reverse charge applied. It will be important to review any existing recurring invoices after March the 1st just to ensure that the correct VAT is being applied. For further help, please access help within Sage Business Cloud Accounting 
or you can access our website on sage.co.uk forward slash help. So that brings us to the end of today's session. So thank you very much for joining us. Take care and stay safe.